Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open World Ghost Tycoon 2. In this episode I'm going to show you how to do vehicle hacking with a, a plugin from Bussy called OpenRC2 Ride Vehicle Editor. Now um, it's already on the homepage here because it's one of the newest plugins, but if, you, uh, if it's not here then you can simply uh, find it by typing Ride Vehicle Editor in the search. Or you could use Google, and uh, here you can find the right vehicle editor. So if you want to, uh, if you want to use this plugin, um, here on the left you have to uh, click Get Plugin, and then here under Releases, and here you can find the beta version, and then here you can find right vehicle editor .js. So that's a Java script file. So that's the actual plugin. Then if you want to use it, then you have to go to your OpenRCT2 folder and here you find your plugin folder. And in the plugin folder, you put the file ridevehicleeditor.js. And when you have done that, um, well, yeah, make sure you're on a recent version of OpenRCT2. This, uh, the newest version of this plugin will actually require also the newest developed version of the game. So uh, yeah, make sure your, uh, your OpenRC2 is up to date and then you can uh, start using it. Okay, I will now start up uh, OpenRC2 and then uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll demonstrate the plugin by, uh, by building a ride which requires vehicle hacking. Okay, here's my uh, space base park. I'm first just going to show the ride that we're going to create. So here's a ride that I used to like making in parks, but it always required uh, external tools like Visual Studio to actually uh, make a ride like this. So basically how this ride works, uh, there's a station here and there's a fake station here. And it's basically just a really long train um, of which a lot of the vehicles were changed into these uh, other types of uh, vehicles here in the middle. So basically here we have normal car screw uh, train uh, vehicles, but these uh, trains in between were all changed to like the, the last, uh, the back train of a car screw coaster. And that makes it look like they're uh, connected through this long uh, chain uh, of, uh, yeah, of, of wheels. Kind of like, uh, yeah, you should probably look up the ride called uh, Skywarp from uh, Skyline Attractions. Now uh, I used to be an M track here because it's the only uh, track type that does that has the elements we require, like the large half loops and uh, a barrel roll. That's just so these uh, trains can pass each other here in the middle, because these large half loops have an offset uh, to the left or to the right. Uh, but yeah, soon uh, the single rail coaster type will actually be available in the game. And that'll be great because the real Skywarp rides also have uh, uh, also use the single uh, coaster, uh, the single rail coaster track type. So uh, for this example, I will just build a ride uh, like this that uses the B and M track. Okay, here's an empty map. Now I'm just going to speed up the build process of the coaster a bit because I want to focus on the actual uh, ride hacking and this ride will just be an uh, example. Okay, this would be the track and normally you would also have to build sort of a station here. What the guests will usually do when they uh, arrive at the coasters, they will actually enter from this station and they will walk to the train here and um, so yeah, there should probably be some uh, some paths here or just something to make it look like the guests uh, are actually uh, walking on a, on a platform or something. But yeah, that's just uh, that's just a detail. So uh, right now uh, I want to focus on actually building the coaster. So um, I have enabled the disable vehicle limits cheat and well, I've already built quite a few of these coasters. Um, we're gonna need 40 cars per train, and that's just uh, to get the spacing right. So as you can see, um, if we have 40 cars per train, the back of the train will be over here. And back of this train will be over here. So this is sort of uh, this, the, 
spacing that uh, that I want. Maybe you can play with it a bit, but uh, yeah, like I said, this is just a demonstration. Okay, I have to spawn the train now. I have, uh, yeah, I'm the first just uh, gonna see if the if it uh, works properly. So for this to work, I'm gonna set a lift hill or a lift hill change speed that's a little bit higher. I'm gonna let it run three circuits uh, now. I'll just speed it up and uh, see if the ride uh, works properly. <laughs> Okay, seems to be working fine. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the game and then test the ride. That will make just make sure the train spawns, but it won't start moving immediately yet. Okay, now um, here uh, to use the plugin, we actually have to uh, hold the map icon now. Plugins will probably get their own icon later, but for now you'll have to do it through the map menu. So. Um, I see some plugins here that I've installed. We have to go to Edit Ride Vehicles. Then you get this little menu. It's uh, from uh, Bussy. We created this. And here you can select a ride. Well, we now only have Twister Roller Coaster 1. And here we can see a list of all the vehicles that are there. Now, I did um, say I wanted 40 cars on the train, but the last vehicle is actually uh yeah like a, like a car without any seats on it so this is the 40 uh, 41st car okay um now i want five vehicles per uh per, per train i want a little train here at the front and one at the back and i want all of these cars in the middle to become uh, yeah back cars so uh, one, two, three, four, five. So vehicle six. So with the plus and minus, we can simply uh, go through these vehicles. Uh, we can also select them here. Vehicle six. Well, here we can see uh, some variants. So there's this uh, coaster type actually has three types of cars. So there's the front car, which is more aerodynamic. And there's the back cars, with, or the middle cars actually, which are uh, yeah, shorter. And then there's the back car, which is just a set of wheels. So from vehicle six, let's start changing them into variant two. And as you can see, it has now changed into this uh, into this wheel type. So I'll do, just do that now for all these vehicles uh, in the middle. Okay, I've uh, changed all the vehicles now, and as you can see, uh, now looks like we have two trains here which are connected by these, uh, yeah, by these wheel sets. Now, um, for this train here, uh, we de will definitely want to have a front train here, or else it will look quite silly. So let's see which vehicle this is. Um, yeah, we cannot really uh, see that. Um, so this is 41. This is 40. 39. 38. Uh, 37, 36. We can probably also see it if we go like this. So yeah, here you can see vehicle 36. So we changed it to variant zero, and as you can see, it now has the aerodynamic front car. Now the newest version of this plugin, um, which is which has not been released yet, but uh, I already uh, got it from uh, from Bussy. Uh, it will be available soon. Um, and the newest uh, release also allows uh, editing the spacing of uh, vehicles. So, so for example, here we have this wheel set, and right now it's right behind the this last coaster train, and that looks kind of weird. I want it to be, uh, yeah, almost touching this train because right now the back of the train is just floating in the air here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this uh, vehicle here. I believe it's uh, vehicle six. And this version allows you to move it forward or backwards. So here we have the track progress. So if I click this, you can just move it forward or backwards. And with this, you can simply change the spacing of all the vehicles on the track. 
and the spacing will stay the same. If you want to move it further forwards or backwards, you can also use the times 10 button here and then every time you click it, uh, it changes by 10. So that will save you some uh, clicking. It's also a times 100 and uh, it uh, does the same. You can also change the mass of the vehicles here if you want to uh, make them heavier or lighter. And you can even tell the game that uh, a train has more seats so it will hold more guests. So um, yeah, let's just uh, give, the, give the ride a spin. I will just speed it up a little bit. Alright, that seems uh, very good to me. I really like the way uh, this looks. Now, there's uh, another thing you can do with this uh, plugin. So, if we uh, select this right again, edit right vehicles, now let's go to vehicle one. You can actually also change the type of vehicle you see here. So let's, for example, say we want the limb launch roller coaster uh, cars here. You can actually select them here from the list. So let's do for the first vehicle, choose the limb launched uh, roller coaster trains, and I'll also do the same for the rest of the vehicles. Okay, I've now uh, changed the ride to the limb launched roller coaster trains, well, the vehicles at least. And these pa other parts of the ride, um, they're still the uh, coaster through roller coaster. So it's just uh, a mix of uh, different types of trains now. You can uh, mix a lot of ride types. You can now change the spacing with it uh, as well. Uh, just keep an eye on the on the plugin, uh, yeah, on the plugin website to see when the 1.0 uh, release of the plugin uh, is there and then you can also change the spacing of the ride yourself okay yeah this uh, plugin just makes uh, vehicle hacking uh, so much easier than the previous method which uh, needed uh, official studio so yeah i uh, just really want to thank uh, bussy for uh, making this this uh, plugin is sure to make our lives a lot easier and it just makes uh, making a ride like this so, yeah just very easy. I think anyone uh, can do this. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it's useful for you. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.